Hey friends, just um, just been thinking on some stuff. Um, haven't really got my thoughts together or anything, but like I've just been away for a few days at just really, you could call it a life-changing mastermind event that was just run by Rick Pino and um, just some amazing speakers and people that really uh, spoke into my life. It was just an amazing time of of change and things starting to happen and even now I've just been reminded that the word that I have for my new EP that will be coming out in a few months time or a couple of months time is called Transformed and I really believe this is the beginning of just an amazing transformation in my life but um, something that can happen out of my transformation is that others around me will also be transformed. And even yesterday, I mean, last night I had a dream that um, it's it was a bit not really, like it didn't really make sense. It was a little bit confusing and um, I had to write out what I could remember and then thoughts started coming to me. And, and this morning during my devotion time, I was, um, I was reading the book of Hosea and just that whole story of redemptive love and knowing that the three children that Goma gave Hosea were named Jezreel, which is synonymous to death, and that, you know, the line of King Jeroboam will come to an end, there will be bloodshed, and the second child was called No Mercy, and God will no longer be merciful, and the third child was called Not My People, and you know that was God saying that you'll no longer be my people but the redemption that comes in this story is just so beautiful and Hosea represents Jesus that Jesus came and died for all mankind so that we could come to the Father we're brought back to the Father through this redemptive love and I just really felt it on my heart the things that people have already been speaking into me about me being like a spiritual mother, a worship mother, somebody who speaks life into those around her. I just wanted to encourage those of you who are not sure on what your calling is, that you have a unique and special thing within you that God has placed within you and you are called to bring transformation to those around you through your life in Christ and through what you do in him and through him. And throughout this week, I was also um, just really struck that I, I've had a, um, a number of spiritual mentors in my life and been really, really blessed to have a, a Christian mum and dad who brought me up in the ways of Christ and really just prayed over me and spoke into my life daily. And I've had other beautiful people in my life that have been able to speak into me. And I really felt to ask a particular person to be a spiritual mentor over me. And I'm not sure if that will happen or not. But in any case, for me, knowing that I'm the one who is going to be that for some other people, and perhaps I already am that for other people, I just encourage you not to forget to ask God to to bring you to the place where you can speak into other people's lives if you don't already have that. And yeah, just remember that you're made unique in Christ and your walk will speak to others around you too. So bless you with that.